Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Mumshad Manambet and I'm an Ansible enthusiast. I would like to demonstrate this tool I put together called Playable, which is a UI for developing and testing Ansible projects with great ease. So what does it do? It is a user interface which can be used to create Ansible projects containing inventory files, playbooks, and tasks. It can also be used to search for Ansible roles in Ansible Galaxy or GitHub and import them into your projects. You may also create custom modules and test them right in the interface. The tool adheres to Ansible guidelines and best practices on creating Ansible projects. Let's take a quick demo. Playable is a web interface. Log into the tool and start by creating a project. Input a name and connect an Ansible controller engine, which is basically a system with Ansible installed on it. You can have different projects with different Ansible engines attached. On creating the project, the tool identifies the version of Ansible on the Ansible engine. Head over to the designer section and start creating inventory files and playbooks. Create a new inventory file and provide a name. Add hosts and groups to the inventory file. You may choose to input variables associated with the host at this time. An interface lets you input information in a key value format so you don't have to worry about the YAML or JSON format. You can see it automatically generate the variable file in YAML format in the right. Similarly, create groups and add hosts to it. The file browser lets you browse the folder structure and files. As you can see, a folder structure is created for the project as per Ansible best practices and necessary files for group and host variables are created accordingly. Now let's create a playbook. Provide a name for the playbook. Select the playbook and create plays. Provide a name for the play and select a host or group from an inventory file. You may choose to associate a tag with the play if required. Select the play and create tasks. This is where it gets really interesting. The list of available modules is fetched from the Ansible controller and is displayed as a list. You can search and choose from the list. When a module is selected, its description and an example is loaded automatically. Moreover, a dynamic form is created with the different parameters to be passed to the module. The mandatory fields are at the top. The default values and choices are loaded automatically. You may either put in static values or input a variable. A list of variables available in your project specific to the host are listed to choose from along with their values. You may also pass in complex variables using the object button. You could create data of any format using this interface. Once the tasks are created, you may execute them by clicking the play button. You may choose to execute at a playbook level, play level, or individual task level. Clicking on play executes the task and shows you the results. Optionally, you may also set the check mode or the verbose level during execution. Let's move on to roles. Create a new role using the new role button. Provide a name and a role will be created. View the files associated with the role using the file browser. A readme file will be shown in an HTML format. You may add variables and create tasks in the role as shown before. You could also search and import roles from Ansible Galaxy or GitHub. Click on Import Roles button and type in a search text. A set of results are displayed from two sources. Select the Import button to import the desired role. The role has now been imported into the project. You may develop and test each role separately. Include the roles in your playbook by associating the role to a play. You could also develop and test custom modules. Head over to the module section and create a new module. Input module name and the other information and provide a brief description. As you can see, when you type in this information, a module template is generated automatically. Create options for the module by providing a name, description, and type. 
The template automatically generates the documentation section and the argument parsing section. So all you need to do is use the arguments and build the logic. Once done, save and test the module. A form appears with a list of parameters the module expects. Fill in the form and click OK to test the module. Thank you so much for your time. Feel free to reach out to me at mmumshad at gmail.com. Hoping to hear from you soon.